Good morning. Here is uh, where I stayed last night. Hold on. Um, yeah, this little spot here is really hard. Like, it's kind of like feels like cement. I don't know how I figured out how to pitch this tent. Uh, I had to pitch it diagonally. Um, it was the only way it would fit. Um, but yeah, it's at Annapolis Rock. Uh, so I'm going to go down and check out Annapolis Rock. And then I have 24 and a half miles to Harper's Ferry. Uh, yes, yeah, since I switched my sleeping pad and I no longer have the big foam pad, my pack is so tiny because <laughs> the sleeping pad like is just smaller. And usually I was putting the foam pad as the frame right in the back. Um, but now I'm putting the sleeping pad or the the air mattress um, as the kind of pseudo frame, but it just it's a lot smaller, so my pack is like is so so small. Um, which I guess is fine. It's just it's, it feels weird. So anytime like you make changes in your pack um, with size and volume, like it just feels different on your back. Um, so it doesn't feel bad, but it just feels different. All right, I'm gonna get going. <laughs> so here is uh, Annapolis Rock. Some really great views uh, back into Maryland. Um, it's very rocky around here. Uh, I was with the guy. Oh, sorry. I was with Rewind yesterday, and he said this place kind of reminds him of uh, McAfee Knob a little bit, kind of a smaller version. Um, and from pictures, I think I could understand it. Uh, I don't really like the, the ledges and stuff, so this is probably as close as I'll get. Uh, but yeah, some really, really great views this morning. And I am still wearing my uh, puffy jacket because it's still cold. It's like 40, I don't know. My hands are cold, like holding the camera. Uh, I'm gonna have to figure that out, like how, how I'm gonna do that when it actually does start getting colder. Definitely bringing gloves, that's for sure. Um, all right, so I'm gonna take the Blue Blaze back up, uh, connect back with the AT and just, you know, just do another 24, 24 and a half. Uh, but yeah, motivation, motivation is real. I know I got this. No, I got this today. It's in me. I know I can do it. Um, and yeah, I'll be reunited with Elise for another another few days. Uh, rest, relaxation, some healing from the, the, you know, all the damage I've done to my body in the past week, just doing 20s and just to get here. So, so yeah, I'm going to get moving. Some deer. They're just so close. I mean, I know there's cars in the background. There's a highway right next to me, but that deer, and then there's one. Where are you? Oh, yeah, right, right there. I mean, you were a few feet away from me. Wow. So, looks like Washington Monument. AT South is this way, so we get to go through overpass and the highway. All right, so here's here's what the trails look like today. I'm cruising. This is a nice, easy, flat trail. See how long it lasts. Still pretty windy today. You can probably hear it in the background. Um, just met a guy named John. Uh, on the trail and he was harvesting these like chestnut American chestnut 
seeds or pods? I don't know. Um, I took a picture of them, so I'll put that here. Uh, but he was just like showing me how to identify American chestnuts, which is great because I really lack that knowledge um, for like tree or plant identification. I'm not very good at that. Um, so he told me how to identify them, and he said, you know, they're super rare because uh, the blight that just knocked them out um, in the U.S. Uh, but apparently in this section, uh, there's a lot of them. So what he does is he goes to them and he takes these really long sticks and knocks these pods down uh, that are only at the very top of the tree. So his tree, his, his stick must have been like 30 feet. Um, and the, the, uh, the little pods, the green pods are only at the top, like the very top by the canopy of the tree because they need the sunlight. So <laughs> he, he found one today and he said he thinks there's three in that tree. So he's, his goal is to knock all three down um, so they can, I guess, take them and try and repopulate. Uh, but yeah, I figured I'd share that because I don't often get some good like tree knowledge. Um, <laughs> And hopefully I could find a good picture of the American chestnut uh, and the leaves. The leaves are really distinct. They have these like sharp ridges um, so that you could identify them if you see them. But yeah, it was nice knowing that they're rare and what those uh, green pods are. So yeah, so that was cool. Figured I'd share it. I'm at the original Washington Monument. Uh, yeah, I, I did not know that this was the original and the one in Washington, D.C. Uh, came after this one. I didn't know there was one before it. So this was built in 1830 or 1827. Hold on, there's a sign. 1827, so it looks like this was uh, created July 4, 1927, or 1827. Um, yeah, looks really interesting. Go around here. It's such a nice day out. Two, uh, two more updates. Um, one, I don't think I've mentioned this before in the, in the vlog, but prior to, prior to getting on trail, uh, in March, March of this year, I went, uh, and I did the AT section from Front Royal to Harper's Ferry. So, you know, I recently just made the call that I'm just going to continue from that point so I'm gonna jump ahead on that section because I've already done it within the year so that section is um, by the Blackburn Trail Center uh, Bears Den uh, Hostel and the roller coaster and the section that comes out by kind of that Smithsonian Zoo in Front Royal so I think it's like 50 something miles uh, but yeah, just cause I've, I've done it within the year. Um, I was thinking if I was hiking with a dedicated group, uh, I might just want to like stay with them, but it's not really the case. I've been with a few people, but not like a, we're hiking every day together <laughs> group. It's kind of like a loose coalition. Um, and lately that's been, uh, Goosehawk and Rewind. Um, so, so yeah, when I get back on trail, it's not going to be at uh, Harper's Ferry. It's going to be in Front Royal, uh, right before Shenandoah National Park. Uh, so that's one. Two, when I go home, I'm going to be switching a lot of my stuff to my colder weather gear. And bear with me. That means I'm going to be bringing a 20 degree uh, quilt. So I have a 20 degree quilt from uh, 
UGQ is the brand and it's a bandit, UGQ bandit quilt, the 20 degree and just some clothing. So I'll probably bring like a long sleeve wool uh, thermal layer or base layer. And I might swap my puffy out for like a better, I don't know, like a warmer puffy, the one that I have, it's kind of beat up really thin. Um, gloves. Uh, yeah, so if you have any ideas of like stuff that you use for winter, you like your favorite winter clothing for hiking, let me know because I'm going to be doing some changes. And even if this video posts like later, you know, I'll take your considerations. I'm definitely going to have stuff mailed to me later around the Smokies. Um, also, last thing would be cooking. So I'm going to bring a stove. So I'm going to be ending the cold soak well not quite i'm gonna bring the jar and i'm still gonna use the cold soak jar but i'm going to uh, uh also bring a stove so i can make coffee and have like warm food if i want it um yes yeah, so if you have good recipes for i don't know backpacking meals that need like hot water or something let me know because i've just been cold soaking the entire time so yeah give me your ideas for clothing for fall winter and uh backpacking meals for uh that use a stove because those are going to be additions for me here's the view from uh white rocks uh you can see um just hanging out here taking a break um, I made sure to check for snakes. This area, there's so many, it's just like this rock on a, it's like a sunny rock, so definitely a place where a snake would come and like sun itself, so no snakes. Uh, and I'm just hanging out here, have about 13-ish miles to Harper's Ferry. It's only noon. I've definitely been doing like three miles an hour, so I feel like I'm just gonna crush, crush today. Feeling good. Um, one thing I have been doing like pretty religiously is just taking my shoes off. So um, when I'm just like taking breaks, I'm like stretching my feet and just doing that. Also my food bag, there's like two granola bars in here. This is all trash. Um, I have almost no food. Um, I have one of these giant meal replacement bars, or just a protein bar, so I'm gonna have that for lunch. Um, but other than that, I have, let's see, what else is in the food bag? Uh, some powdered milk, some fruit roll-ups and gushers. So I got fruit roll-ups, um, and then an emergency ramen, and this will stay in the pack. I think everyone should have an emergency ramen. Uh, yeah, you never know. <laughs> it's more of a joke at this point. I just keep it in there. It's been in there for a while now. Uh, just to have it in there. and I'm not going to eat it. Maybe I'll save it for my last, last night on trail. I'll have the emergency ramen. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to sit here, eat that protein bar, and yeah, rest up. Still got 13 to go, but uh, I've already done already done over 10 and feeling good so all right more uh more state parks this is uh gathland gathland state park i guess it could be pronounced either way um yeah some ruins there and also ruins right here which i'll zoom in yeah so some really great state parks in Maryland. Uh, I know it's a short state. I'll actually finish it today. Um, yeah, it's like a day and a half. Um, but yeah, some of the parks are are great. The Washington Monument one. Uh, this one is it's really nice as well. This is too tempting, so I'm just gonna sit down here for a few minutes. But yeah, I'm loving the parks in Maryland. Stopped in uh, for a quick break just to rest my feet again 
and take a look at the Ed Garvey shelter. Look at this place. It has, um, I mean, these signs are hand carved. That is a hand carved sign. Uh, the shelter platform, all of this is finished with like some kind of polyurethane, which is great because then you can actually sweep it and it gets all the stuff out. So, um, yep, here's the uh, log book, which I signed. And then up here, well, you kind of see there's an upstairs. Uh, oh yeah, two privies back in the distance there. Huge, huge fire pit with benches with backs on them. And here's the stairs up to that loft. So I'll go up. Why not? Okay. Wow. Look at that. Yeah, this is top shelter for me on the AT. Easy. I have been walking the CNO Canal for almost three miles now. It's a beautiful uh, road walk by the Potomac River. Gonna enter into Harper's Ferry in a minute. I am tired. <laughs> um, my feet hurt. Uh, Harper's Ferry is a, you know, it's kind of the, the mental halfway, that's what they say in the guidebook, but I already passed halfway. Mentally, I know I'm halfway. Um, uh, really, really historic town. Um, John Brown's Raid has a lot of uh, Civil War history. Go look it up. Uh, it also has a headquarters for Appalachian Trail, uh, and usually you take a photo there. Of course they're closed, just like the other few things, but I think I'm going to come back on uh, Monday when they're open uh, to get my photo taken, because I do want to be have a Polaroid at their spot. Um, but yeah, that's, that's what's going on, so I'm going to go up here and walk a bridge into Harpers Ferry. Here's a good shot of the Potomac, and I actually think the uh, Shenandoah and the Potomac kind of merge here. Um, Hence why it was like an important spot for, uh, to have armories and pouring in wars and stuff, but yeah, this is the bridge walk. Um, I actually feel okay on this bridge. I think cause it's not that high up and I can't really see down like by my feet, but yeah, it's, it's a nice bridge walk into Harpers Ferry. So this is the like historic section of Purpose Ferry. Um, man, the lighting is just so nice right now. <laughs> Everything looks good. Uh, yeah, this is just like a great place to come for a weekend. Or there's restaurants here. Um, yeah, there's right down in the center down the street where that truck's turning, there's a bunch of restaurants.